Hey guys, Zom Fox here. And despite it being not nowhere near to the real off-season drama stuff of the USFL, we have some huge news coming out. The head coach of the New Orleans Breakers, Larry Fedora, has just announced yesterday, as of this recording, that he is stepping down as the head coach of the New Orleans Breakers. From uh, apparently the reason is is that he really does want to spend time with his family, and due to the question marks of where the USFL is going to play next year as there are going to be still doing hubs, just adding more hubs, and not knowing where he can stay long term. He wants to be with his family. He has said that he probably will think about coming back to the USFL once, you know, it's all fully spread out, which is good news, but Larry Fedora has officially stepped down. This is definitely a very big deal. This is one of the coaches in the league that was like a playoff team, and it's really one where it's a big question of what's going to happen to the Breakers as a team. Now, the first thing is to put it in a legit objective mindset in terms of the USFL grandscape. So naturally, you know, Reddit, Reddit, Twitter are wondering exactly what this means. This good? Is this bad for the team? To put it simply in a legit, in an objective standpoint, he was a mid coach. That's because four and five and the rankings would be a mid tier coach. And the bottom line is he was definitely not an upper echelon coach as the biggest, as you know, you've got Arn Andrus, who did an outstanding job, especially having to play in the playoffs, dealing with multiple injuries. Then, of course, Mike Riley, aside from the playoff game that I still believe he single-handedly blew. For the regular season, he was an outstanding coach. And then, I mean, naturally, the Stallions won the whole thing, so Skip Pulse is definitely up there as a great coach for the USFL. And then I would say that Larry Fedora was definitely the fourth best coach. He did a lot better than I actually expected him to do. So overall, it's definitely one of those things you look at and you go, wow, he really was, you know, a solid coach. He was definitely better than Kirby Wilson, Jeff Fisher, Todd Haley, and Kevin Sumlin. So I think he was the fourth best coach, but technically it's still a mid coach. But the big question is, is who will replace him? I don't really like going into that hypothetical of who's going to replace him. I think that it's a bit too extreme to just say right now that someone's going to go, that, you know, it's just... It's weird to say that you really think someone's going to come and get the job. you got to wait and see who the names start popping up. We will find out probably soon who it will be. But the biggest thing for me is what this does for the team. I think that overall the biggest question is now Kyle Slaughter. You know, he was the all useful quarterback, but as I've said before, I think that overall in terms of the grand scheme of things, he wasn't really that good a quarterback, and he mainly benefited from really bad backups and just being on a team that had a great running back in Jordan Ellis and a very solid tight end in Sal Canella. So I think that the new coach will either have to fully change how they run the offense in terms of Slaughter's passing game, or just get a new quarterback. I think that if the Breakers were to bring back every single player they had last year, but then get a better quarterback, I think that compared to all the other teams, that would be the biggest improvement. As as basically Slaughter in multiple games was the main reason his team lost. He didn't really win his team that many games, but he did lose them a lot. And especially considering the fact that in the playoffs, the team got absolutely shelled in, and the only team that pretty much got blown out in the playoffs. It's not a good look for Slaughter. But overall, Coach Fedora, I mean, he was a solid coach, really solid. It's definitely shocking that he's stepping down, but I guess it's understandable. The guy's like 60 years old. He wants to spend time with his family. It's respectable. But as for Breakers fans, I wouldn't feel that upset. I mean, the bottom line is, is I feel like your team's good enough to where if you get a not so good coach, the fact is Kirby Wilson and Jeff Fisher are still in the league. And even though Jeff Fisher had all that previous experience, man, last year is bad for both of those guys. So I feel like if they just get a decent coach, they should still be fine, especially if the new coach decides to get a new quarterback as just like a coach, you can't really go that much worse. So if you're able to get a new quarterback and then have him, you know, be solid, you can definitely upgrade this team. So I guess we'll have to wait and see. Overall, this has been Zom Fox. If you enjoyed this content, let me know if I upload any videos. Make sure to subscribe and hit the bell. And as always, have a great night.